Hey guys, Matt here. So today I wanted to make a video on how I clean the refractory on a G10,000 by Heatmaster. So pretty much all the G series are roughly the same. The refractory or the combustion area on the bottom are a little bit different, but they're pretty much the same. So I know a lot of people are like, oh, gasification is more maintenance. And every gasification, whether it's Heatmaster, Crown Royal, they're all a little bit different. And I think the Heatmasters are pretty easy. So I wanted to make a video on how to do a how to clean out that and how quick it is and uh, the tools that you'll need. So here, as you can see, I just have a, a metal container to get the ash. Uh, you have the, the tool that you need to open the plug on it. And then I have my uh, scraper that I'll use and I'll show you how to do that, both scrapers. So what I'm gonna do is, it's not running right now. I'm gonna open the, cause you gotta leave the top door cracked. But I, I usually do it when I have the fan going it kind of sucks some of the some of the smoke and from the fly ash out and out the top there. So I'm going to uh, hit the bypass so you can see that. And hopefully this is out of the way enough, but you can see how I do it. This is how I do it, whether it's the right way or wrong way, I'm not sure. This is how I do it. It doesn't take very long. I haven't done it in about two weeks, so I have no idea what it's going to look like. So we're just going to kind of get it where the smoke goes. It hasn't ran in a while, so there's probably a lot of smoke in there. It's not too bad, a good amount of wood. So I leave it cracked, just so you get some type of airflow. I open this. Yeah, there's a good amount of fly ash, so... I usually use a tool like this to help kind of scrape off some of this fly ash. This is this how I do it. That's all I do for that. I'll scrape out the door here. See how much kind of fly smoke you get? That way it kind of sucks it out so you're not just inhaling it all. Yeah, you can use a mask, but this is how I do it. Like I said, I haven't done this in a while. This is all fly ash. This is not like chunks of, chunks of ash. It's just fly ash, so. And I'm gonna do the plug right away before it gets hot. It probably is still. Let's put it on there, twist it out. I usually set it aside. As you can see, there's a lot of a lot of ash in there, but that's normal. You can see the coals. We're just gonna. You can see that, right? Yeah. So I'm just gonna grab my tool. This is supplied by Heatmaster. I just shove it in there. Pull out the, the ash. All the way to the back. There's going to be coals in there. That's from the stuff falling down. So I'll just get out all the way to the back. Get out as much as I can. Grab my little tool. Scrape all this out. And then I'll kind of use my hands quickly to get the, the groove clean so I can put the plug back in and it doesn't stick. You just turn it and that's it. And then on the right side, I don't know if you can see this, but there is a good amount of fly ash, right? So I'll take this put that over there, grab the other tool that the heat master gives you, so you can go all the way to the back. I start up front just to scrape this fly ash here. I'm just hoping you guys can see that. Now I'll go three quarters of the way, pull the fly ash forward. And that's all it is, there's no coals. Now I'll go all the way to the back, straight back, past the turbulators, down, pull forward. Now I'll go all the way to the back again, lift it up so it's elevated, go to the left, because it kind of goes back and down, pull forward to the right, more fly ash. I'll do this a couple times just to make sure I get as much as I can. All right, 
looks like I got most of it. Go all the way to the back just to make sure. Okay. That's that for that tool. Put that back. Take my scraper. And I'll do this once a week. Or, oh, I'm sorry, once every two weeks. In the, in the really, really cold, I may do it once, once a week, because when you clean this, I've noticed you get a way more efficient burn time. It burns cleaner, you know, it's just like anything else being clean. that. Well, it's been five minutes since I cracked that and the fan's going to turn off. It's like a safety feature. But I'll take this and I'll scrape out as much as I can get from there. that that's everything that is all it takes to clean my g10,000 it's not much it's pretty simple so anybody who says like oh there's a lot of maintenance no nah, not really I clean the fan area once a month nothing crazy I do lock this bottom because I have young kids because you do not want to open that when it's running at all so, real simple. You know, it's no real difference than cleaning out your wood stove every three, four days. Cause that's roughly what we had to do when we had our stove. Well, we still have it in the house when we used to burn in the house. Now everything's outside, the dirt's outside, the dust. Um, so it, it doesn't take much on a heat master. That, this is a G10,000, so it's the biggest G series currently that they make. Um, and I do that, like I said, that's once every two weeks and it's just fly ash. You're going to get a little bit of coals from the, where the nozzle comes in, but that's normal. Um, a lot of, that's where it kind of spins and then goes back, turns and comes around. That's where all your heat's generated from when it reburns the smoke. So, well, yeah, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to go over how I do it. It's real easy, real simple. I'm sure other heat master G series owners, they'll say the same thing. You know, because a lot of you are like, oh, it's on old school. There's a lot more, you know, BS that you got to do it. It's not bad. It's, it's real easy. It's real easy maintenance. Because if that ever gets really clogged and the airflow goes to pretty much nothing, you got no heat. I don't care. You'll just be flying through wood and it won't be heating anything. Because you get your heat from the, the smoke being reburned when it goes up the turbulators. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, I, I kind of want to just make a quick video on that so you guys can see it and... Um, do I love the stove? 100%. Would I buy one again? Eat all day long. It's the best thing I've ever done for us, heating our home and shops and everything else. So, um, if you want any, you want to see anything else as far as maintenance goes, what I do and how I have it set up, how I burn. Like right now, I'm just burning scraps. I'm not even burning good sized wood. Do scraps last as long as uh, actual logs? Not even close. But I got it. I'm gonna burn it. So. I just did change the settings again. I don't have it burning as hot and I got it back down to 180 to 170 to 180. I had it at 185. I'm going to change it again come later in the spring here when I'm just heating the hot water. It doesn't need to be 180 degrees. I may lower to 160 to 170. I'm not sure if that's good. I may do 175, 165 to 175. We'll see. I don't know if that's going to make much of a difference heat loss wise. So like I said, we're just heating the hot water for that. But, but yeah, real quick, easy. Uh, maintenance on the lower refractory that's all you got to do and if you're burning properly you don't even have to take out any ash up top you just stir up the coals and any of the fly ash will go down below and then you clean it out from there if you got to clean out the top you're not doing it right I've since i was told back in the day when i first got it 
if you have to, you should never be cleaning the top. And I haven't cleaned it since probably November. And I, well, actually I take that back. I had to do it in December, January, when I had to replace the nozzle, but that's a different story. But um, just let it be, stir it up, throw it in. Stir it up, throw it in. Clean out the bottom, which is really nice. It's real easy. This summer I'll probably do a full box clean, you know, scrape all some of the creosote salt out. But other than that, I mean, that's no difference than a, a stove or something else you have. You're always gonna have a really good clean out, but that's really it. And doing the fan, I've got a video on that. So if you wanna check that out, look at my other videos. I do the fan area, about the same amount of time. I take a wet dry vac and suck out all that. Real easy, same thing, fly ash, but it's, at least it's head, head height and you can clean that out real easy. So if you wanna see that, check out my other videos. But I wanted to do another one on that and how easy it is. I do that every, so twice a month I do it. I may do it once every week in the winter when it's like really cold and I'm burning a lot more wood. But other than that, it's pretty simple, so. But yeah, as always, keep burning.